Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game number one in a series between Cooper and Focus. Focus, I believe, has spawned as the blue orc on the top left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have Cooper spawning as the red orc. Orc versus orc mirror matches, and I do not know why we are getting so many mirror matches as of late. But then again, let's go ahead and watch them and simply enjoy them. I do not know if I'll be able to cast the entire series today. I'll try to get through as much as I can, and I may end up having to cast some games for tomorrow. So a little bit of a bonus cast or early arrival for those of you guys who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do so if you want to continue to follow me and watch more Warcraft 3 games and whatever else I decide to throw up on my channel. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what these players are doing, opening up with a Blade Master on both sides of the map. One side, Focus was able to get down his Blade Master with an Orc slightly faster, as he's going to be able to clear up that creep camp, pick up a Ring of Protection plus two, and move along his merry way. Now, the Voodoo Lounge should be done by the time this particular creep camp has been cleared. And once that creep camp has been cleared, I do believe the Scroll of Town Portal will be sold, and healing salves will be picked up. Now, it is going to come down to a battle of who can really creep out much more effectively all of these creep camps and, and their locations. Blade Master now heading back down over here, perhaps to try and take down this green creep camp, or nope, heading to the Voodoo Lounge first. Both sides with nearly identical openings in terms of timing. The only real difference is Ring of Protection plus two compared to a Circlet of Nobility. Blade Master is dancing around on the center portion of the map. It looks as though Cooper is going to be going after the Ogre Magi off over here. And this is a little bit risky since you know your opponent could very, very easily have um, Wind Walk into this location and pretty much spot exactly what you're doing. Now, what's happening here? Is he going to go after the item? I do believe that is going to be the case. Oh, there it goes. There's the steal. And now there is the Wind Walk away. Beautifully done. Cooper purposely even delaying his last attack, thinking to myself, you know what? I think Focus could be nearby. If he was in fact nearby, things could be very bad news as there is a wind walk and there is a mana steal. Another wind walk that is going to be potentially huge as the Blade Master getting in some damage. One more wind walk there. Wow, that Blade Master very, very low. Healing salve. He does have the boots of speed and he'll be able to get away for now. Cooper dodging a bit of a bullet there as the Blade Master using one charge of that wand of mana stealing and able to get a wind walk, steal an, an, a wind walk from his opponent and get in a little bit more damage. Four healing salves already used by Cooper. Cooper is not in a good position at all as Cooper now makes his way off over here. Ogre Magi going to get taken down. There it goes. Claws of Attack plus six. Blade Master is still very much nearby getting in some damage onto a low hit point grunt. But uh, we now see an ensnare on an imposing grunt. Blade Master chasing after Blade Master Cooper going after that grunt and it looks like he will end up getting almost surrounded. A very very dangerous call right there. One unit off by a handful of pixels and that was the problem as the Blade Master now engaging up against a grunt that is ensnared. Beautiful disruption on the healing by Cooper as Cooper attacks with a grunt there. We can see some, what, four on two, four on three action as the Blade Master getting healed back up once more. Healing salves are now pretty much gone at this point while Focus still has plenty of charges. Boots of Speed now been purchased and talk about knowing your game. He knew when exactly the uh, Boots of Speed would be restocked at that Goblin Merchant. Blade Master now exchanging blows here. So far, Blade Master of, Co or excuse me, Focus seems to be in a little bit of a lead. He has the healing salves, but if he falls here, that is going to be very, very, um, well, just pretty much catastrophic there as the Blade Master now down to 118 hit points. Grunts now looking to engage this Blade Master now wandering around here. That Blade Master now down to, what, 155 hit points, and it looks like he will be able to get away. Blade Master off to the north here has a little bit of trouble. He does have that additional Ring of Protection plus two, which I'm sure has pretty much saved a lot of damage off of him so far as the Blade Master now looking to clear up this 544 Creep Camp. All right, 544 Creep Camp getting cleared up. It should be very, very close to level three, if not level three. I do believe this will give level three 
maybe what 520 experience after all this is said and done meanwhile cooper sitting at um or oh, copper is it copper or cooper c-o-o-p-e-r cooper um now down over here blade master now i'm heading right back down all across there as we're looking at the blade master who does have 512 experience level three level two wind walk already in play it looks as though the blade master may be trying to steal the ogre magi damage there it is picks up the wand of illusion and now able to get away no hex onto the blade master that does come as a surprise as more ensnares do go down all right wand of illusion illusion blade master coming in there is a bit of engagement right there blade master however gets in a critical strike and now we are going after that poor poor blade master blade master will he be able to get away lower hit point a grunt now getting healed back up again as you can see the illusion just sticking around long enough to dissipate all right back over here shadow hunter doing a good job being the um, well bringing all the items to the party he has double healing salves a clarity potion he could be using um excuse me healing wave already not quite sure why he isn't perhaps he teched um teched hex first as a second boots of speed does get placed down onto the map boots of speed onto the shadow hunter i'm not sure if that was the item he was looking for but it's the item he got and that should help him be able to chase down unsuspecting units the shadow hunter of cooper still pretty much naked in terms of items shadow hunter here dust of appearance healing scroll of healing now ready to go clarity potion now being used as we do have an engagement all right cooper finally gonna get to level two here um yes finally gets the level two on the blade master going up against a, a, a grunt there grunt or raider excuse me raider now getting taken down speed scroll as another uh, raider trying to get in front and it looks like it will get a surround onto cooper's blade master but we all know that surrounds on blade masters do not last very long both sides engaging cooper is in a bit of trouble will he be able to escape with his blade master blade master down to 89 hit points down to 90 hit points spirit link saving the day again as that 8.42 armor blade master able to survive just a little while longer all right hexed grunt um, looks like it is going to be hexed a little while longer and it is going to um, perhaps try and run away there it goes there is that final strike there another grunt down over here that it's going to go as well as the shadow hunter gets hexed off to the north cooper is in serious trouble here not sure if he's going to be able to make it as he chases after um the shadow hunter shadow hunter or excuse me oh wow beautiful hex right there the little bit of the crab walk going on there is the healing salve but all that effort for what it may not even matter as the oh there's the ensnare there is a quick hex there's spirit link and this one one shadow hunter tries to run away and there it goes it does get taken down blade master now only hero left for cooper as things may pretty much be gg the supply 35 over 50 of up against what i gotta believe is a 48 size army at the very least focus completely walking over well 47 focus completely walking over cooper in game number one thanks for watching thanks for listening Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for game two. That will be up on my channel tomorrow.